Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install for DM on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home lab, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So. Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today for DM. It's a desktop app that helps you organize how you use your favorite apps by combining them into one application. Um, this will work directly on your portainer and uh, it's running on Ch Chasm. So, so the base image is Chasm BNC. You will not have to use the full chasm though. Um, so this will be installed today. So now I'm going to show you what for DM looks like. Um, so you'll have the sidebar right here and you'll be able to add apps to it and you'll be able to click them and go to the apps really quickly. Uh, and uh, this is workspaces and there's much more. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link on the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to type in fur, and then now I'm going to go to how to install for DM on a portainer. So the Docker Impose, and then now version 3 of Docker Impose file formats being used. I'm going to set services in the first service underneath the services called for DM. The image is coming off of Linux server because of this URL right here, and uh, they have their own re re registry. And then uh, this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. The container name is going to be called for DM uh, security opt. So this uh, d disables a kernel secure comp a computing mode, which can be needed for certain applications, but reduces security. Um, the environment variables. So the user ID and the group ID, the time zone. I would set this to your own time zone if you'd uh, like. And then volumes, the, the left side is the host, the right side is the container. And the local volume is defined down here. So ports are 3,000 on the host and 3,000 on the container. Do not change the container side, but if it does claw with another port on your host, you can change the host side. And uh, 3,001 for the host and 3,001 for the container. The allocated um, uh, one gigabyte to shared memory and then restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then now I define the volume. So I'm gonna go over here to copy raw file. Then I'm gonna go over to my portainer and get the setup installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to start on my portainer. I'm going to go to local and then stacks and then add stack up here. I'm going to put a name in of for DM stack. And then now I'm going to come down here to the web editor. I'm going to paste in the Docker and pose. That I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. Now I'm going to say deploy the stack down here. I'm going to click it. Now, what this is doing is download the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, and get it up with Docker Impose underneath because this does use the Docker engine to run the Docker containers. So, we got it up and running. So, now I'm going to go over the stack options. So, if you go in your stack, you have uh, actions up here. So, stop the stack, delete the stack, and then create template from the stack, stack duplication slash migration. You can see the cont containers in the stack. You can see the access controls. You can go into editor and you can edit the Docker Impose right here. You can also update the stack by clicking that button and pressing update. You can also have the option to repull image off the registry and then redeploy it. So this would be great if you have a tag that's static that the developer just pushes to like the latest tag and then you, you just uh, turn it on or off and then press the update. So that's a little bit about the stack options. So now I'm going to go over the container options. So if you go into the container of for DM, you can see container status. You can see the actions up here. So start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate, slash edit. 
You can see logs, inspect, stats, console, attach. Logs great for debugging. And then you can see access control. You can see create image. And then you can see the container details, like the image, port configuration, a host, and then the container, uh, the command uh, entry point, environment variables, and labels, and also restart policies. So you can change the restart policy and then press the update button. You can also go and see the volumes down here. You can see on the host and the path on the container. You can see it created a network, a bridge network down here. So that's a little bit about the container options in Portainer. So now I'm gonna go to the UI. So your Portainer's IP address and then 3000 for the port. So I'm gonna go to it. So now uh, you'll see the welcome screen for Ferdiam. You can create a free account, lo log into your account, or you can use uh, Ferdiam without an account. So I'm gonna do that. So now you can get started and you can start adding uh, services like Discord. And then you can add Gmail. You can add Google Calendar. And uh, what this is doing is it's down, it, it's, uh, it's adding it on the sidebar right here. So um, you can see the services over here. You can switch betw between them are really easy. You can also go down here and have the actions of adding the new services like we were just doing. Um, and then you can open up workspaces. You can create a new workspace. You can close that. You can disable not notifications and audio. You can see the downloads. You can also see the settings. So general services, appearance, privacy, language, advanced and updates. Um, you can, you, you can go up here uh, to have more, uh, settings and options. Um, you can come over here for the VNC, uh, options. So drag viewport keys, clipboard, full screen, game cursor mode. You can go into settings and you can see more settings. So key, a uh, keyboard shortcut, stream quality, and then advanced. And then you can also disconnect from the Chasm VNC completely. And there we go. Um, you can connect right back up to it. So that's a little bit about the UI on Ferdium. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting Ferdium working on Portainer. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.